Welcome to the assembly video for your Brawl King gas grill. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Before starting, unpack all of the components of your barbecue and lay them out in your workspace. Use the drip pan to hold the contents of the hardware bag. You will need the following tools to assemble your Brawl King barbecue. A number two and a number three Phillips or Robertson screwdriver. A hammer. A 7 16 combination wrench. Step one. Using a block of wood as a base, place the push nut on the block and set the axle into the open side of the push nut. Tap the other end of the axle firmly with the hammer to secure the push nut to the axle. Place one of the wheels on the axle, slide it all the way to the end of the axle, and insert the wheel and axle through the opening in the resin base of the barbecue. Place the second wheel on the other end of the axle. Turn the barbecue base on its side. Place the second axle cap on the end of the axle. Use the closed end of your 7 16 wrench to hold the push nut. Firmly strike the push nut with the hammer to secure it to the axle. Set the base upside down on the ground to install casters. Firmly push them in place. Step 2. Take both side panels and the rear cabinet panel. Align the screws on both side panels with the opening on the rear panel. Using your screwdriver, tighten all four screws. Step 3. Attach the cabinet assembly to the cook box. Loosen the screw in the top back corner on either side panel. Insert the top of the cabinet assembly into the bottom of the cook box, making sure the two screws on the front corner of the side panels fit into the grooves on the cook box. Once in place, tighten the two screws previously loosened in the step. Step 4. Insert a long bolt through the hole in the top corner of the cabinet assembly and tighten. Step 5. Place a nut on the two screws on the front corner of the side panels that are resting in the grooves on the cook box and tighten. Step 6. Install the door catch bracket. Align the outer holes on the bracket with the holes on the bottom of the interior front panel of the cookbox. Secure using the two bolts provided. Install the battery in the igniter on the front panel of the cookbox. Remove the cap, insert the battery with the positive terminal facing out, and replace the cap. Step 7. Install the tank retainer bracket using the two sets of holes at the back of the cabinet assembly. Secure using the four screws provided. Step 8. Secure the hose and the regulator to the front of the left side panel using the two screws provided. Step 9. Using the six screws, secure the barbecue base to the bottom of the cabinet assembly. Two in the back. And two on each side. Use the outermost holes on either side of the base when attaching. Step 10. Install the doors in your grill. Insert the upper door pin into the opening and align the bottom pin with the hole on the base. Using the supplied spacer, secure the door in place by installing a screw into the bottom door pin. Do this for both doors. Step 11. 
With the help of a friend, stand the barbecue upright. Do so by laying the upside down barbecue on the back panel, then stand it up from there. Step 12. Attach the side shelves to your grill by sliding the front shelf bracket over the shelf bolt behind the control cover. Then repeat with the rear shelf bracket. You can use the supplied shelf lock tab to secure your shelf in the upright position. Step 13. Repeat step 12 for the other side. Step 14. Insert the side burner hose through the grommet on the side panel of the cabinet assembly. Connect your side burner by removing the horseshoe clip from the side burner hose. Insert the side burner hose into the burner body. Reinstall the horseshoe clip into the burner body, securing the hose. Connect the igniter wire, being sure to follow the proper path through the grommet on the side panel for the igniter wire. Step 15. Insert the boss extension, dividers, flavorways, and cooking grids into the cookbox. Install the lid on your grill. Insert a roll pin through either side of the lid and cookbox. Then secure in place with a cotter pin. Insert the warming rack into the cookbox. Step 16. Attach the grease cup onto the grease tray assembly and slide it into place through the cutout on the right side of the cabinet. Step 17. Install the propane tank in your barbecue. Secure using the tank bracket assembly and attach the hose and regulator with the tank valve facing the front of the cabinet. Step 18. If you have a natural gas grill, pull the hose through the bottom opening on the base. Step 19. Make sure the rotisserie burner is securely installed in the cookbox. Step 20. Install the rotisserie bracket with the two bolts from the inside of the cookbox facing out. Step 21. Use the supplied wing nuts on the outside of the cookbox to secure the bracket in place. Assemble the rotisserie spit. Install the threaded collar on the threaded end of the spit rod. Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure it with the handle. Slide the forks onto the spit rod and secure. Install the assembled spit rod onto the gas grill with the open end going into the motor. Use your screwdriver to tighten the set screw. You are now done assembling your Broil King Signet. Take a look over your grill to ensure everything is working smoothly. Now is a good time to register your grill. Please visit BroilKingBBQ.com today and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more. Broil King. Great barbecues every time.